audience that would like to speak in favor of this request. There being none, is there any one of the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? I'm Ken Rickett, and I live at on uh, 12, not 12, 1217 12, Hickory Drive. Uh, the, the concern I have is not the quality of the project. I think it's been put together very well, and I think the Planning Commission and the property development people have worked very closely. Uh, it's the kind of planning that you would like to see go on in any community to this level. And I think it's been handled very well. My problem is we're looking at one lot surrounded by R15. And what is happening here, and I'm going to give you an example, but what is happening here, we're taking one lot and isolating the zoning on that to allow considerably greater density. I happen to live in a neighborhood within the city limits that has 14 two-acre lots. There's no other place in this community that's set up that way. I would be devastated if one of my neighbors decided to change from the zoning that's on that two-acre lot that they're on and come in the middle of my community and change to this type of zoning. What you're doing this evening is considering this type of precedent throughout Valdosta. That's where the problem is. We have plenty of developable land within the city limits of Valdosta to handle this kind of development. More density for elderly, more density for college students. I don't oppose that either. The problem here is that we're isolating one lot and I'm, I'm guessing there's 18 to 20 lots up there that are 15. One lot in the middle of that and bringing in eight dwelling units. That's not precedent that we need to be following. I considerably, uh, I'm proud of the product that's there. The people that have done, developed have done an excellent job. They work closely with planning commission. But something is wrong when we allow this to happen to the neighborhood that will be a historic neighborhood in years to come in our community. It was developed as large blocks intentionally. And to allow this to happen, in my opinion, is ludicrous. It does not follow our zoning ordinances in their intent. Again, it's been handled well, but it's not the place to do it. Thank you. Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioner? I just wanted to make a comment if I this correctly. This R15 was zoned when the city annexed this land, and some of those lots don't meet R15 zoning. Some of those lots are considerably smaller than what R15 would be, so this is not a, a, a pure R15. It's just zoned that way, but the land lots are not that size. And this is not not much off of what's already there. I just wanted to point that out. It's not as ludicrous as you make it sound. 